Mm. Now, oh, now people are checking in that uh, checked out the video on their own. It's fucking. Um, oh. People are asking. Uh, it, it's not a video because I haven't been there yet. But August nineteenth and twentieth, I'll be in Utah at Wise Guys Comedy Club. Oh, but no one was asking you. Oh, I thought they were. No, I, I misunderstood the last call. <laughs> no one was asking. Speaking of flaming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Steve's picture's up on the screen. <laughs> Hello. I wonder if they're going to keep Steve after they go to uh, Sports Talk. Oh, are they, well, shit. Are they going oh, yeah. to Sports Talk? Yeah, YSP's going to Sports Talk. Ugh. Yeah, that's a definite. Fucking. Uh, you know what, though? That's that, a definite. Is that, what is it? K-Rock couldn't make it. They can't, the Rock can't, can't make it there. All these, just don't want it. Is that what it is? All these cities are losing their rock stations. It's unbelievable. And, and these rock stations have been there their entire lives. Because you get it. Anywhere else, and they play the. I was listening to Q one hundred four. It's amazing that survived, and the fucking the whatever they play Van. Now what do they? Oh God, Van Morrison. Van Morris. Brown Eyed Girl. It's the same, <laughs> same shit. <fucking laughs> shit. Same fifty songs, if that. So is, is that much? Bonaduce staying in sports talk? I don't know, but I mean, YSP is definitely going sports talk. Toucher and Rich are amazing because they survived, and they're, and they're still doing pretty much their show with a few differences, mm. but they survived that. They're doing great up there in Boston. Yeah. So, you know, I, I wouldn't want to talk sports all morning. Well, I wouldn't even no. want to talk for ten minutes. Yeah, but YSP is definitely going away. Yeah, hey, looks. It looks like uh, you know they just gotta stick with it. They got some in. Uh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I love Jim. I would listen to Jimmy's sports talk oh. show if you did that. Well, it just looks like uh, you know they gotta come oh, to play. Oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Frank from Bergenfield, what's on your mind? You know what? It looks like to me like the really. Does it really? Is that what it looks like to you? <laughs> oh, fuck yourself! <laughs> shut the fuck up. Just watch it. Here's what happened. He threw the fucking ball. The guy missed it. <laughs> Asshole. It really is all nonsense. Oh, uh, it sucks. It's just a bunch of hearsay. <laughs> it really is. You know, we got to do any off season. We got to stay healthy. Really? Because I thought cancer helped the team. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Stupid. The same shit. You know, we got to strengthen, strengthen our pitching oh. rotation. It uh, fell off a little bit in the last 10 games. And, uh, bah, 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 bah. Well, you know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> right. I know that. I just said we got to fucking strengthen our pitching rotation. Of course I'm not wrong. Who would say that's wrong? <laughs> no, good pitching is bad. Mm -hmm. Well, YSP is going to be one of those uh, fucking... Uh, I encourage everybody to abandon it. Well, Philly's a big sports town, so... Oh, uh, they'll listen. They'll, they'll do all right. What do you think, the Eagles? I don't know. Harold Carmichael's coming back. <laughs> Harold Carmichael? Yeah, right. Jaworski's on the sideline coaching. Jaworski. Is he? Hey, what's going on? What do you think about the Eagles? I think the birds are going to fly. <laughs> you fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> And we lose rock stations for that. Oh, it's fucking But rock stations hideous. did it to themselves. Yes, they did. They R fucked it up. Rock blocks and the same fucking faggoty songs. They, they fucked it up. what they get. Now all you this, just go to satellite or fucking All uh, this competition was Pandora. coming. They saw it on the horizon. They did nothing but sit there and yep. let, these, let all the competition eat them up. Yep. And they emasculated all male talk, so men don't want to listen to that shit. Nope. No. It's all soft and corny. I need a sandwich and a kiss. That would be a great mm. slogan for a sports station, though. It's all hearsay. <laughs> it's all hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 510, the blech. All right. I listen to the fans sometimes. It's like, sh what the? F shut the fuck yeah. up. What do you know? Reporting you know nothing. The Yankee, uh, what do they call them? The, the guys who will just follow the one team are Yankee, not correspondent. Uh, Exactly. Ah, ah, I was gonna say I was I was gonna say beat writers, but I don't that's know. wrong. I'm yeah. glad you didn't say that because you would have, ah, you would have humiliated right. yourself and the team. I just did that. I want to I want to hear a typical sports talk now. Oh, mm -hmm. I can't think of any right now. It's terrible. All that nonsense. You know, it looks like uh, the Mets are uh, you know they're having a tough time because uh, you know what they dropped three out of the last four and the Braves are looking. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the Braves got a tough schedule. They got to go to the West. Do they got to go to the West Coast? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Fucking stinks. Yeah, there's 120 games left in the season, but the Mets lost the last three out of five, oh. so that seems to be a problem, I guess. Oh, <laughs> we got to find that third spot in the rotation. Right. Yeah, do we? <laughs> I hope we find. I hope it's a black hole. 
I hope they step on the mound and they're sucked into a vortex and never heard from again. Now, that would be interesting. Drop another, dead. Another one is uh, strengthen the bullpen. Oh, yeah, bullpen. Oh, we, boy, the bullpen needs to be strengthened a little bit. You know, we got to get a lefty specialist in here. Why? Because the fucking guys in the majors, lefties can't hit a lefty? You know what we got to get in here? Fucking music. <laughs> get this fucking boring drollery off the fucking radio. Oh, it's fucking horrible. It's the same 30 callers in, a, in his fucking... Every show has the same callers. Do, yeah. we, do we have a good fucking piece of audio we can play? No, there is none from sports radio. Damn it. Any good audio from that? No. Any Nothing. sports show. Though the, I hate they have the same name. Hey, I'm Tim and Tim. Hey, we're here talking sports. <laughs> Hockey, Bob, basketball. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> fucking drives me nuts. <laughs> and I used to listen obsessively. Yeah. Yeah. You get to know them. There's fucking Bob, the fan is the big one here. What's his name? Bob Page. His name is. No, he talks a lot that. of boxing. I like him. I used to listen to Steve Summers because uh, he made it, it kind of fun. No, he didn't. You know, like Steve schmoozing on the uh, schmoozing on the other side of the glass. Yeah, Steve uh, Summers schmoozing on the overnight. His claim to fame is that Jerry Seinfeld called him once in the middle of the night. Ugh. Oh, really? That's yeah. that guy? Yeah, Steve Summers. But when Imus used to be on, he used to say that. He used to go schmoozing under the covers till Imus in the morning. Oh. I'm schmoozing. Oh, right. Ugh. oh, yeah, thank you, Noodles. Got to get a right-handed bat in the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> right-handed bat. Schmoozing while a burning dog right. runs around my yard. <laughs> 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 that would be good. Schmoozing to a beheading video. <laughs> <laughs> Until gurgling is played. I think they use deep in the rotation, right? Of course uh, they do. They love saying deep in the rotation. We're a little weak as far as uh, deep in the rotation goes. <laughs> we got to fill that uh, number eight spot in the lineup, really. Why don't you fill it with an interesting call? How about that? <laughs> How about you fucking fill in from fucking six to ten on this fucking, on this station? Because this sports talk is terrible. <laughs> hey, uh, just, hey uh, we'll see what happens. Of course we will. Yeah, that's all we can do. Of course we will. That's all we can do is see what happens. Everyone calling the station, everyone on the station will see what happens because they don't play. <laughs> yeah, last night's game, what happened? Mm. Eight to five. We know. One team scored more than the other team. Next story. Uh, Fucking hate them. Obviously. Do you like this? And the 1 0. Swung on and it high in the air to deep left field. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Over the green monster into the monster seats. Eduardo Nunez. El Mateo. It's a home run over the left field wall. And the Yankees tie the game at one. Wow. Good, good, good call by the Bendejo. <laughs> That fucking oh, asshole. Oh, Maricon. Yeah. Oh, Maricon. <laughs> Squats on the bat and it disappears. <laughs> oh, John, I couldn't believe he got two bats in his hidey. I'm Susan Sheckler. <laughs> I always sound like I got sloppy with saliva. I talk like a St. Bernard. Posada knew he could take it all the way up to the hill. Yeah. Posada looks like pine tar, but it's really stomach lining on his back. <laughs> I can't believe that's buried. This took it so far, John. His high is fine. It's gone. It's got blood on it. John. <laughs> it is high. It is far. It is pink socking. <laughs> Boo. Jimmy, I got one for you that we forgot about as far as sports talk goes. Obsessive trade talk, where they they just come up with trades that'll never happen. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Isn't it the worst? Hey, what about if we want uh, two prospects for a quarterback and Ron Gidry? I don't know. What if you fucking put a fucking put a gun to your temple and ended this call properly? A quarterback and Ron Gidry. <laughs> yeah, what do you think would happen if we uh, we try to trade two lefties for a righty? I don't know. I think it'd be the same if you trade two righties for a lefty. Go hang yourself. How do you think of that? Obsessive trade talk. Why don't you trade two apples for an orange? Go for fuck your mother. <laughs> now we need a quarterback. That's great because we as listeners need an interesting caller. Now the right hander is set. Uh, It'll be a, a two one. Swung on and hit in the air to deep right center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. 
Bam! Good stop. Into the Bolson bullpen. Stop. Brett Gardner, instead uh -oh. of lining one down the right field line, uh -oh. hits a long shot Hit to Gardner left one. center in the Boston bullpen. Buff. Gardner plants one, and the Yankees <laughs> take a 2-1 uh -oh. That's it, you dumb Yankees. Just keep letting fucking, keep letting John Sterling make it about himself. Gardner plants one. Get it? Yeah. That's, no, uh, I didn't really get it. Oof. That's It'd only funny it. if Gardner I'm, is in a strip club and a stripper shows her asshole <laughs> and he kisses it aggressively until the bouncers remove him. <laughs> Jimmy, I got another or one for you. His name is Graves. <laughs> <laughs> Graves plant one. <laughs> or rapist. <laughs> Teddy rapist plants one. Deep in the seat. <laughs> You want another one? Yes. Uh, please. Oh, fuck. They're coming in real Ah, wow, Bill Tetley. Oh, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Nick C. in Pittsburgh. Oh. Don't forget about the utility player and the setup guy. <laughs> I hate the setup guy. The seventh and eighth inning guy. The setup guy. We don't have a strong setup guy. It's always usually a lefty or righty specialist. That's normally who the setup guy is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you don't have to discuss it for an hour. No, no here's what you got to say. We have anyone to go in the seat? Yeah, we do. All right, cool. Yeah. Next. Do we got a guy that can throw seven pitches? Yeah. Good. All right. Done. And another guy thank can you. come in and throw eight. Yeah, thank and you. And a guy that can throw two to a lefty in a row. It's fucking horrible. <sighs> I uh, found a, a DVD huh? or CD yesterday. Of? He means cross-dressing. The, the Opie and Anthony show. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, if, what is it? Oh. From when? How bad? 1997. Uh, so that was before we got fired in it Boston. It was called... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's it called? It had a bunch of tracks on it. You know, break one, break two, break three, and shit like that. And the theme of the show. And this is for everyone that said how much we just ruled in the old days and <laughs> suck now and everything. That's why I laugh at those people. They have no fucking idea. You know you're a child of the 80s if. That was the theme. And people would call up and go, if you remember, you know, Pong. And where is this tape? And, and we're like, yeah, oh, right, right. Remember that? Like, just these You know 80s we have to play the tape now. It's so incredibly douchey, I couldn't finish listening to it. Why, why do you have a copy of that? I don't know. We were that looking. means we probably thought it was a good fucking show. There's two, and then another one that's I, I haven't listened to that's labeled the same way. That's just called Kunk. Oh yeah, the Kunk Show. Yeah, I remember the Kunk yeah, Show. Yeah, yeah. We decided to come up with a word that meant cunt. Yeah, Kunk. The yeah. weird thing <laughs> is, yeah, yeah. The weird thing is listening to coming out of songs that are fucking classic rock now, <laughs> pretty much mm -hmm. these old '90s songs, and you're going, hey, "That's the new one from you know Butt Trumpet." <laughs> well, they're 14 years old. I know those songs are 14. Years Crazy. Old. And I always I go opposite math. So then 97, let's say a song that was 14 years old would have been from 83. Yeah. How crazy is that? Crazy. You you know? Oh, I, I, I are was you gonna bring this in? Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll bring it in. They're um. Jimmy's gone tomorrow, wow, so we gotta do yeah, it Thursday. Do, do it thir I'm back Thursday. Thursday. Oh, you morning. have to be here for this because it's uh, oh boy, it's yeah. just fucking, it's brutal. Yeah, yeah. I gotta it's zip brutal. over to left coast today, and I gotta do a little thing tomorrow. And I'm gonna fucking uh, hang uh, back on the red eye. Come in. <laughs> I, I, I'm panicking, uh, not sleeping. Uh, again. Here's another one, Jimmy. Brad T in, K in Kentucky. Thank you. They just come up with shit that means nothing. <laughs> We're really having trouble hitting with runners in scoring position. Ugh. What is that? That no, you're not. That, just have had bad luck. You have bad luck because your hitters stink. Right. <laughs> how how do you actually officially have trouble hitting with runners in scoring position? Statisticians should be beheaded because of what they come out with. You know, technically, uh, uh, Billingsberger is uh, is six for ninety eight with runners in scoring position, less than three. Out, really? <laughs> ESPN's even worse now. As... ESPN fucking bugs me with that strike. Okay, I'm sorry. You don't, you don't like the K zone? The fucking K zone. K -zone. What's the K zone? Only if there's three of them in a row and there's a guy <laughs> running with a fucking flaming torch in his hand. I like the K zone. Nope. I was watching at the comedy show last night. They had a Boston game on, and the fucking. How, do they have that up for every pitch? No. Oh, they don't. Okay. No. Take that fucking 
box off the screen. Oh, I saw your tweet last night. That was hilarious. It drives me nuts. What'd you say? I can wait a one hundredth of a second. I can second wait one one hundredth more of a second for the umpire. I don't need to the tell fucking... me if it was a strike or not. Yeah, I know if it's a strike because the umpire goes. Or ball. I like to yell at one that really yells. <laughs> uh, we got Joey in Philly. Yeah, this one drives me nuts. First time caller, long time listener. Oh, fucking hot. <laughs> oh. That's o- that's only a good call if it's followed by a gunshot. <laughs> um, what what about ESPN? Oh, they'll put a as the count goes on. They'll put the batter's average in that count. Like he's batting two fifty uh, when it's a two zero count. Or oh, he's batting wow. 327 when it's a 3 and 1. Is game. that necessary? Yeah. First of all, everyone probably has a higher fucking batting average when it's 3 and 0 or 3 and 1 because the fucking pitcher is more likely to throw a strike because he doesn't want to walk you. Yeah, it's just more unnecessary stats. Yeah. Everyone has a lower average when it's 0 and 2 because you're going to get a junk ball thrown at you, you fucking <laughs> cunt announcer. <laughs> really? Hey, he's got a low average against knuckleball- knuckleballers when it's 0 and 2. Really? What an <laughs> odd stat that a knuckleballer and 0 and 2, he doesn't hit fucking a lot of doubles. I hate knuckleballers. How do you hold the ball like that? Rotten fingernails with no sensation in them. You don't like Tim Wakefield? I hate no. Tim Wakefield. How is he still in the league? Because he throws a knuckleball. Hey, hey look, knuckle it's 67 ball. miles an hour and made a left on fucking <laughs> Tewksbury Street. Tim Wakefield should get fucking prostate polyps. <laughs> you said Tewksbury Street. Yeah, he made a left on Tewksbury Street or some shitty street in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> made a left. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, Punch a Spook Road. That's a great town up there you got. <laughs> he started the pitch at the Sitco side. <laughs> yeah, dip below the Sitco and right under the racial incident. Right. Came around the, the Green Monster. Yeah, right around uh, old Down Syndrome Tug Mayor. Oh, one, two, three strikes, you're out. One, two, three strikes, you're out. One, two, three strikes, you're out. <laughs> I hate Tim Wakefield. Oh. His name ought to be Tim Tim Water Behind a Boat a Valley or something. <laughs> oh, wow. That <was> brutal. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Let's go to Dan in Tennessee. Dan. Dan. Hello, Dan. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Hi, Dan. Dan. Uh, I, what I, the what just pisses me off. What Language. Sport talk radio is when they will get on there, the callers, and they'll go, yeah, we did this or we're going to do – you don't play on the stupid team. Right. Oh, the way thing. Yeah. Uh, it drives me nuts, too. Yeah. Why do people say way? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to get them next week. Oh, uh, we got you. All right, how many times are you going to say it? We got no, no, you, I'm just yeah. kidding, bro. <laughs> Thank you. For the... <laughs> Can we do a sports call? This is how a sports call should go. Could somebody else call up uh, – Call up. Uh, this is the fucking uh, – the, the – uh, the Who Cares fucking sports talk show. Well, they're so lit. We got to clear <laughs> the them. The Who but... Cares sports talk Pete show. Pete in Jersey. Pete. What's up, guys? How you doing? Hey, Pete. Welcome aboard. What do you got? What up, kid? Listen, uh, I'm actually a sports fan, but I totally agree. This, I mean, the, the talk and the BS is way out of line. It goes way overboard. They're looking for too much drama. But I, I, got, I, got, I have to bring up one thing that the Mets brought out last month. Ah, what? No, this is a real thing, Yeah. Jimmy. You're going to die when you hear this one. Go ahead. I remember this. Hey. Okay, was having, I don't know, he was in some sort of slump, and they can't figure it out. One day, they actually come out, and they say, blue-eyed baseball players cannot hit during the day. He can't hit in the day because he has blue eyes. Well, you know what? Uh, you know what? I've been hearing a light refraction off the eyes. You know what? It's not, you know what? Hey, maybe they're not wrong. You know what? <laughs> You're getting all excited. Yeah, I, who am I to say? I have brown eyes. I don't hit. What do I know? That's not a bad point. Maybe that's accurate. Let's do some uh, let's do some research. Take some calls. So for the next four and a half hours, we'll be talking about blue-eyed uh, people and how the Jews aren't. Just said Hitler. <laughs> Fucking horrible. Oh, all right, now the calls are coming in for Sports Talk, Jimmy. Anthony in Boston. Anthony. Hey, Sports Talk, Jimmy. Great to be on the East. Hey, great to have you. Thanks a lot. Wait, what's yeah, your show I'm called? Just... Hold, on, hold on, hold on, Anthony. What's your show called, Sports Talk? Hey, uh, thanks a lot. Welcome to... <laughs> it's got to have a sports term, like the hub, the the dugout, the... Uh, oh, the fucking... Um, uh, how about... Uh, uh, the, the bench. Uh, yeah, the bench. Or, uh, uh, yeah, that's got to have a theme. Uh, the mound. Some, uh, how about... Uh, 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 the end zone. No, not the end zone. That's been done too many times. Uh, yeah. In the dugout. 
Uh, yeah, you're in the dugout. In the dugout with sports. Hey, you're in the dugout. Hey, you're in the dugout. Jimmy. Yeah, you're in the dugout with uh, Coach Jimmy. What are you doing? What's going on? Hey, uh, Jimmy, I got a football question. Sure, gonna... sure. I got a football answer. I just, I just yeah, do well, snappy I pattern. Oh, I'm going to run over you. Uh, I don't understand why Belichick, he's, uh, he's blitzing the weak side corner in a, uh, you know, in a third and long situation. I don't understand it. Well, Belichick for a long time. Everyone's been telling him, Bill, go fuck your mother. But he just won't <laughs> do it, so he keeps doing that. All right, thanks for the call. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say hi to Eric in Brooklyn. Eric. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? All right. First, first time in a long time. Hey, welcome aboard. You're in a dugout. How about uh, Susan Waldman or any female reporters who sit there and claim that, you know... Oh, I'd rather fuck an anthill than Susan Waldman. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather fuck an, ant, an, an angry anthill than that woman. Go ahead. She is the worst. And she saw that she's got a pair of balls in her mouth and she's always jiggling them. Why, sir? Why so mean? <laughs> <laughs> she is horrendous. <laughs> yeah, she's not great, but I do like her because she's just so pro-Yankee, but I, she does kind of stink. It's yeah. terrible when she chimes in. Oh, she's awful. she just doesn't offer much. Oh, really? All right. Uh, this is great. Mr. Uh, Coffee. Uh, hey, it's been a while, Mr. Coffee. How are you, brother? Good, good. How you doing? Hey, I'll get to you in an instant. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, speaking of Mr. Coffee, you know, my old uh, hero, Joey uh, Joey D used to sell Mr. Coffee. Ah. And then he punched Marilyn right in the clip. God, you're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> now, usually when the uh, sports station is having, like, a bad day, they always go, uh, you know, go backwards and talk about, like, Pete Rose and the he belong in the Hall of Fame and who's the home run king with Barry Bonds or Babe Ruth and all this stuff. They go backwards. Holy shit, you're on to something. Yeah. There's, there's top uh, – what are the top five go-to uh, things they do when, yeah, it's a slow uh, – Slow, slow sports. sports. He yeah, had yeah. two of them, I think. Pete they Rose, definitely do the Pete Rose the asterisk. They, they argue who is the greatest home run hitter of all time. Yeah. Uh, you know any of them, Travis? Best. How about some classic pitchers against That's modern hitters? Yeah, you could do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, yeah. Do, uh, you, you could go local and do best Yankee team ever. Oh, right, uh, right. Very good. Pick the greatest Yankee yeah, team yeah. ever. Or make your own. Right. Make your own team. Yeah, uh, no rules. Right. Who would you have on there? Oh, yeah. shortstop's a tough one, though. Who, who do you put on the, uh, as the greatest uh, Yankee shortstop of all time? Ah, uh, you got to go. Come on. You got to go with Derek Jeter. <laughs> or, or the big argument was, was Campanella more effective before or after he was in a wheelchair? <laughs> 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 that, that's what I want to do. I want to host a sports show and then, and then have questions like that. Hey, look, there's an argument to be made that he was more effective after he was in the chair. Uh, so call up with your opinions. <laughs> Him and his stupid dead legs. Oh, yeah. shit. Fuck him. Yeah, that's uh, great. Was Roberto Clemente, uh, you know, more and more valuable after his plane went into the fucking, uh, <laughs> into the forest? <laughs> oh, they like to predict, too. When guys go before their time, what, what kind of uh, player they would have yeah. been. Or, or when guys get injured and couldn't reach their potential. Like a Mark uh, Fidrich yeah. or, yeah, or something. Like a yeah. yeah, now Mark Fidrich, uh, was he a better pitcher or a garbage truck driver? Go, you're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because he was killed doing that. Yes. <laughs> That's how horrible his life went. Yeah, the bird. Could how have, ironic he was could, fucking. Could have been the Grays and he got crushed by one of his trucks, right? Crushed by a dump truck. Jesus Christ, what a that dick. sucks. <laughs> Fidrich. <laughs> That's a great Ted Sheckler name. Oh, what was the fucking name? Uh, Oh, they the want street? to call your show the Knuckleball Show. Oh, oh is... you said Tewksbury. What's that? I answered too many things at one time. Tewksbury. Yes. That was the street yes. you came up with. Made a left on Tewksbury. You asked for that. Did I? Didn't no. I was asking street? Sam because oh. where we stayed in a hotel in San Diego, yeah. the fucking name of the street, yeah. uh, it just sounded like, who is it? The the, uh, the Sheckler's best friend? Yeah, it was the Neighbors. The neighbors, the, the last name of the neighbors was the street we were staying on. I don't know why it just hit me. And I couldn't think of it. <laughs> I know we got a break, but now everyone's in with Sports Talk Jimmy. Uh, Kevin in Georgia. Good morning, Hope and Sports Talk Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite is, thanks for taking my call. Yeah, they... They have it's to easy. Take calls. You just plunk a button down. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's extremely random. Don't feel so that's a, privileged. That's a groveling that they don't need know what else to say. Yeah. I like when callers call in and they say that they want to, you know, dispute a point made by Dan from 25 minutes ago. Oh, right, right. One of the other callers. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I don't uh, agree with that at all. Uh, mm -hmm. They've got a great team this year. 
What about uh, it's it's so huge now. Fantasy football talk. Oh, right. Where you're not even a fan of a team anymore. You're a fan of your fantasy football oh, yeah. team. Fantasy fucking sports. <laughs> it there's nothing that makes me want to put on a metal shoe and kick somebody's balls. <laughs> fantasy so football. It fucking stinks. Hey, 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 I got one guy from the Padres, the one guy from the Mets, the one guy from the Giants. <laughs> Do you <laughs> fucking cunt? <laughs> And what was he batting? And you know what? It invests you in on the whole game because you watch every game. Really? That's what you need to do? Watch every game? Why don't you stop? Invest less. It hasn't taken off in baseball as much as football, Jimmy. And I would say a huge part of our audience have uh, fantasy football teams. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah? Good. Oh, well, yeah, a huge do. part of our audience should be killed in a gas fire. <laughs> 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 fucking blithering idiots. You know what my fantasy football is? That, that fucking I get their contracts and get to fuck their wives while they all go down in a plane. <laughs> That's my fantasy football. <laughs> oh, and they discussed it now. Oh, wait. We got one coming in for uh, Sports Talk Jimmy. Bill in Philly. Bill? Oh, Bill. <laughs> Hi, Coach Jimmy. Hi, Bill. First, I want to say follow Poncho Pirate on Twitter. And second, my seventh string wide receiver has gone down in my 25-team league. Who should I pick up? I'll listen off the air for your answer. Oh, yeah. That's oh, one. That's oh, yeah. I'm going to hang up and listen to your answer. I'm going to listen to your answer. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, they just oh. go away. <laughs> that would be great if he, they hang up and the guy just doesn't even acknowledge that the gentleman called. Yeah. <laughs> just goes on to another subject as the guy sits there waiting for his call. That's cool. Why don't you listen and then paint your face and watch a Bjork video? <laughs> uh, you want uh, Mike Francesca shit or more catchphrases? For, Francesca, because uh, I uh, hate Francesca. Let's go to him. Ryan in the Bronx. There you dog. I'll tell you, since... since uh, uh, Mad Dog left that show. I have not listened uh, once. He's doing well though, which just shows you how unimportant That's fine, but personality I, is. Mike and the Mad Dog. I listened for you know the Mad Dog, and then when Mad Dog came over here, I was done with Mike. Yeah. Uh, what do you got there, uh, Ryan in the Bronx? Two points about that Pat show. Number one, he he claims to be like the most knowledgeable guy about sports, and sports is super manly. I'm a fan, but he's really close to a Star Trek fan. I mean, he's almost a, he's a nerd, you know. He's like a sports nerd, and he thinks like if you don't agree with him, you're the worst, you know. He's a dick. Yeah. He's a dick. And fucking, he does a four hour show, but he does two hours worth of material because he repeats himself constantly. He's like, a guy will call him about Mark Sanchez and compare him to Tom Brady. He'll be like, uh, you're talking about Mark Sanchez, okay? He's a young kid. You're talking about Tom Brady. He's the best quarterback in the world, okay? Best quarterback in the world, okay? He's the best quarterback in the world, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Mark Sanchez is a young kid. You're talking about Tom Brady. He's the best quarterback in the world. And then the guy will call him after, be like, Mike, you're absolutely right. Tom Brady is the best quarterback in the world. Of course. He's the best quarterback in the world. <laughs> wow, you got it down, brother. That is exactly what that and, fucking fat asshole and does. And the other thing Mike Francesca does, he has the most boring TV show ever. It's horrible. Because they obviously threw TV cameras on him. He doesn't look up once, has no energy whatsoever, and he drinks his stupid diet soda the entire time. <laughs> he has to rip the label up, okay? And, uh, you know, I, I can't, I can't uh, show the label to the cameras, okay? You know, I'm sponsorship on my show, okay? <laughs> That's okay. pretty good. That's really good, brother. All right, but thank you. Good job. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, let me say hi to Matt in Jersey. Matt. Hey, guys. Um, if you go up on YouTube, there's people that post videos that prank call his show and call him a big fat, so it's really hysterical. <laughs> I that he can, a big he fat, can, so. He thinks he can get to the dump button before it gets on the air. He's like, you see, folks, you think you're going to get through, you think you're being funny, and it's not going to get through, and it gets through anyway. It's so funny. Oh, can, can we find that? Can we see some of those? <laughs> There's one time uh, some guy, he does the, uh, I'm going to do a quick comment or a question. I'm going to hang up and let you talk about it. But uh, he asked him his uh, comment, and he said, one more question. Do you think Jose Reyes has the biggest cock in the Mets last week? <laughs> really? Are they on YouTube? All right, hold on. We're going to get one here. TJ in New Hyde Park. What's up, TJ? <laughs> Hi, Mike. Uh, yes. First time, long time. Good. What's going on? Uh, I just have a question. Who has uh, lower expectations on a nightly basis? Uh, the Islanders or your wife? <laughs> All right, that's a, there's a guy who's waited a long time for a stupid remark. But again, here's the thing, TJ, and I hope TJ's listening. These dumb jokes don't get on the air. You wait and you wait. It's on a delay. Sarah quits it. It doesn't get on the air. It's on the Jim air. Jersey, what's up, Jim? Hey, Mike. How are you? Ridiculous, man. Well, you know, people, you listen, but people wait all that time, and then they, but they forget that the joke, joke's not going to get on the air. And you got to knock your uh, radio down, please, Jim. You get, yeah, I'm sorry. It's the, it's the TV. Okay. 
That uh, it was on the air. Hilarious. It went over the air. Of what course. a bore oh, he is to do. That's a guy sports talk. So, uh, lower expectations and to your wife. Yeah, Why yeah. not do something funny? Hey, you wrinkle neck. Is there more uh, prank calls? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, let's go with it. Thank you, Matt. No problem. What, he just laying on the floor in front of the door or something, Matt? Joe in North Bergen. What's up, Joe? Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good, thanks. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good, thanks. I had uh, two quick points. Uh, first, I'd like to say you did a phenomenal job covering the uh, NCAA tournament last week. Not many people covered all of that alone as well as you did. That's the butter. Well, uh, yeah. Secondly, what do you think the chances are that um, Jose Reyes uh, has the biggest cock <laughs> in the locker room? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, here's the thing I try to tell you guys. Um, when you call up and you try to do something stupid like curse or something like that or try to get something like that through, you can't get it through. You can't do it. So we're on a delay for that reason so that knucklehead don't do stuff like that. And if you do, you don't get away with it anyway. So it's not a big deal. So you don't worry about it. It doesn't work, though. You can't do it. It's impossible. That is so fucking funny. Are we visiting the studio next week? No, here you go. Neil in Queens, what's up, Neil? Hey, it's Neil from Queens. I'm yes, kind of waiting. What are you waiting for? Uh, wasn't that you are having me speak as, as a regular call-in? Yeah, you are. So I'm just waiting? No, you're on the air. What would you like to say? <laughs> oh, I wanted to say that uh, I think we're just going to win, so I think Amos is going to have a great game. And Boozer and Snell just, you know, they were number one draft picks. <laughs> and it's time for the Jets to win again. What? All right. Did you wait a long time to say that? <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, He's so. talking he about the no, 69 no, 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 Jets. <laughs> <laughs> He's mentioning 69 <laughs> Jets. Why does, he, why does Mike have a fucking sense of humor? He What's going on with that? You do this every day. Have a sense <laughs> of humor about it. He's a bore. Emerson Boozer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bore, Mike Francesa. You stink, Mike. He blows. You, you really see do. At all. <laughs> I don't think you're going to see Jorge behind a plate. Stephen Boundbrook, what's up, Steve? Mike, how's it going, man? What's up? Hey, uh, the, regarding the Jeter injury, he's got to get an MRI. He already had one. Yeah, but Mike, listen, what he's got to do, get the MRI. Whether he goes on the DL or not, you got to give him some of your Diet Coke. That's the elixir, you know what I'm saying, Mike? Oh, God. <laughs> you know, get some the number, please. Anthony in River Edge, what's up, Anthony? Hey, Mike, how's it going? First what's time, happened? long time. What's up? <laughs> no sense of humor whatsoever. No, no, no doesn't even come humor. close to cracking he's a smile. He's a fucking self-righteous, know-it-all fatso. None he's, humor. He's unlistenable. <laughs> Share out of the lineup for the Yankees and ask the Yankees to play the series. It's not the same thing. It really is make it very, very tough. It really does. All right, Andy on the cell phone. What's Take up, Andy? fast, right? Hi, Mike. This whole David Wright situation is completely ridiculous, but I have a perfect solution. Well, how is it ridiculous? What's ridiculous about it? Well, listen, they could get the Keith and Andy to play third base for two weeks, and it'll bring fans to the stadium, and it'll, and it'll give the Mets fan uh, something to cheer for. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Your solution is for <laughs> Keith Hernandez to play third base Keith for two weeks? Keith Hernandez? Yes. No, all right, all right. Wait, you're wasting our time. Okay? You are seriously wasting everybody's time by even making that phone call. 212-229-3480. That just shows you that the regular number's not working, because if it was, you wouldn't have that call. 212-229-3480. What's wrong with having a call like that every once in a while? A guy whose solution is that... I would fucking listen if I knew this shit was going through. That's and hilarious. Guy, Mike on. Francesca is a dullard. He really is a dullard. Someone's saying, look up Mike Francesca chowing down on... Oh, just says chowing down. See if that one works. Thanks. Oh, Puddle of AIDS. Oh, he's good for... Yeah, he's... I like to see him eating cum in a bullet. <laughs> Not in that order. I guess this is during one of the breaks. They zoom in on uh, him. Uh, what's he eating? Chili. That's oh. good. It's chili. <laughs> He's just <laughs> eating fucking chili. <laughs> uh, All right, whatever. Oh, Any man. more prank calls? I think most of the other ones are him yelling at callers. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's fucking hilarious. It's so man. easy to get under his skin. <laughs> He's a crank. So you were waiting that long to say <clears throat> that. To be seen. But, uh, again, I, I think Beltran will be traded. I think K-Rod will be traded. I do think, unfortunately, Reyes will wind up being moved at the end of the season. Bronson in California joins us. What's going on, Bronson? Hey, Mike. How are you? Good. Um, I wanted to ask you about the Yankees infield, and I'm also wondering if you think it's unfair what happened to Funtime on the board. It's getting banned. 
About uh, what, what was the second thing? Uh, Matthew Funtime, he, he posted in the breakfast thread and like made all those photoshops and, you know, it's always talking about religion and he got banned and it's kind of controversial. Got banned where? Uh, from the board. What, from where? <laughs> uh, you know, from the board. Like, he, he usually doesn't post in the game. What is the board? Uh, you know, it's the board. What the board is, is the board is the board. Uh, I don't know what the board means. What an idiot. Uh, okay, well. Well, I was also asking about, you know, well, do you what? think, do you I don't think know. Jeter could be moved to first base and maybe moved to Sherrod to third? I mean, you just a, you, you called from California to, to prove that you just don't have a brain in your head? Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, it's amazing. You know, I, I should have let him go. I should have got rid of him when he was talking gibberish before. I mean, you know, you know. Hey, listen, people, that guy waited on the phone for like an hour. To, to call up and ask if we're going to move Jeter to first base. I mean, you got to have something better to do with your life. I mean, no. you really, you really have, you, you really do. No. That's funny. You don't. <laughs> oh, I love Anyone who calls this show, by the way, he could say that too. Yeah. You should have something better to do with your life. Right. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, by the way, the, the fucking name of the street, which I, I just knew had to be the Sheckler's neighbors, yeah. was Felsper. F E L S P A R. The Felspers live yes. over there. The Felspers were my neighbors. Felspers. Mrs. Felsper would babysit me while my mother was incarcerated. <laughs> was she in the joint for She stole from Bad Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Felsper were like parents to me. Uh, Mr. Felsper had to knock on doors and do something with Megan. Really? Tell everybody he was in the neighborhood. <laughs> hey, by the way, the uh, Dow Futures up 162 now. Is that good? Like, what? What's the difference? What's What's the fucking difference? I, this I actually, morning, the Dow Futures were down uh, 110. Now the Dow Futures are up 160, and nothing has changed. <laughs> I'll tell you. When did? Let me ask you. When did Warren Buffett smack that fucking company? I don't know. Oh, that was a while ago. That was last week. That's like. Oh, okay. I, don't know, I, th I think you might have made a couple bucks on Apple already. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, what's pre market? It up? It's up four dollars and twenty one cents in pre market. To what? To three. There, here it comes. Three hundred fifty seven. I think I bought it like three sixty or three sixty one. I'm still down. Why'd you buy? How'd you buy high? <laughs> because I, I'm a dope. But, but you don't. Buy but it was. High. But yeah, yesterday you... it was cheaper. Yeah. What did you do? Did you buy it dropped yesterday? farther. It, yeah, it might have dropped farther. Farther where? Oh, it dropped further down from where you bought it. I think so, yeah. And then it went back it'll come a back little up. bit today. Oh, believe me, it'll come back up. That fucking stock is gold. I don't today. have enough to make, gold, a real, to make real money on, on Apple anyway. You'd have no? to Yeah, dude, come on. What do you got? 600 grand into it? I, I sunk about two million into it, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I said I, I bought it three sixty one. I said I'm gonna I'm gonna sell if it gets to three fifty eight again. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Said, yes. That's so <laughs> S and P futures. <laughs> the future. I got a tinkle. Are we, are we going for a record today? Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. There is one more. One of these days we should go commercial free all the way to the end. Uh, John in New York. John. Good hey, morning. Just to uh, wrap up to the Mike Francesca, I remember this one. Go ahead, John. You have to play the clip. It's when it was after uh, Big Mad Dog was came over to Sirius and he went on uh, Stern and he played uh, and uh, he responded and said, "You have to come after me with more than a pea shooter." It makes me laugh every time I hear it. It's on YouTube. It's hilarious. Uh, it makes you laugh. Yeah. Hopefully, we can find it. Really what do you mean with a pea shooter? He well, he's basically saying, if you're gonna come at me, you better come at me with some you shit. You have to go after him with more than a pea shooter. Right. <laughs> you see it there anywhere? Is... Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Right. We might have it. Hold on. So I don't think we get canceled. The ratings are excellent. My Sunday night show was first 22, 20 out of twenty-two weeks. My Sunday morning show is first. Right now, this show for the winter is first. Those are facts. If someone wants to tell stories, I don't really care. But you know the problem is, I have to answer these things. And then people will say that I'm breaking. I can't worry about that. I'm just telling you what the fact is. And I didn't start this. I didn't bring it up. I didn't say that his show was going to get canceled. I didn't make any jokes about Sirius. I've never said anything except nice things about Sirius. They made a big deal. 
they disparaged my producers in Tampa, made them both feel really bad, and we weren't in competition. I mean, I didn't. I just went down and do my show. I wasn't worried about where I did it from or who got one guest or stuff like that. The fact that I threw any fits in Tampa are total lies. No one could ever say they saw that because it didn't happen. I didn't even know those certain guests were on the show until I got home on Saturday. What's this? And I never had any reaction. This is terrible. Him talking about who fucking... cares? Well, we yeah, yeah we we took a shot. Yeah. We didn't pre-listen to it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. This fucking fathead bugs me. Of course we. Should. I'd love to just insult him. <laughs> hey, you know, you guys, shut up. Right. You gotta bring more than the pea shooter. How about a treadmill, piggy? <laughs> <laughs> oink oink. <laughs> just like a child insulting. After two hours of solid radio, we stumble to the break. Stumble. We really do clumsily and fucking with palsy in our veins. Now, the manager's corner, with the thoughts and opinions of the American League's winningest manager, the Orioles' Pearl Weaver. Today's show is sponsored by Baltimore's Six Best, your area Oldsmobile dealers, Anderson Olds, Schaefer and Storminger Olds, Lee Oldsmobile, Metro Olds, City Olds, and Stu Burger Olds. And now, to the manager's corner with Pearl Weaver. Well, Bill Whitehouse, Earl, that, that certainly is an answer. From uh, Frederick Merrill wants to know why you and the Orioles don't go out and get some more team speed. Team speed, for Christ's sake. You get fucking goddamn little fleas on the fucking bases, getting picked off, trying to steal, getting thrown out, taking runs away from you. You get them big cocksuckers that can hit the fucking ball out of the ballpark and you can't make any goddamn mistake. Uh, well, well, certainly this show is going to go down in history, Earl. Terry Elliott of Washington, D.C. Why wants to know why you don't use Terry Crowley as a designated hitter all the time. Well, Terry, Terry Crowley's lucky he's in fucking baseball, for Christ's sake. He was released by the Cincinnati Reds. He was released by the fucking goddamn Atlanta Braves. We saw that Terry Crowley could sit on his fucking ass for eight innings and enjoy watching a baseball game just like any other fan and has the ability to get up there and break one open in the fucking ninth. So if this cocksucker is mind his own business and when we manage the fucking team, we'd be a lot better off. Well, let's, well certainly you've made your opinions known on the fans' questions about baseball, Earl, but let's get to something else. Alice Sweet from Norfolk wants to know the best time to put in a tomato plant. Alice Sweet ought to be worried about where the fuck her next lady is coming from, or rather than where her next goddamn tomato plant's coming from. If she'd get her ass out of the fucking bars at night and go hustling around the goddamn street, she might get a prick stuck in her once in a while. I don't understand where these questions are coming from, Tom. That's about it from Manager's Corner. Go fuck yourself and the fuck with your show coming up next on the Baltimore Oreo Baseball Fucking Network. 